In the Pacific Northwest, the rain has never stopped people from exploring something beautiful. Oh, Look so at that, pretty. so pretty. Stop it, Mom. Capturing a moment is why Michaela brought her mom, Esther, who's visiting from across the country to the UW Quad. It's just fun to get out and about and kind of be in the Seattle weather. For the next couple weeks, thousands will visit campus. Look at me, look at me, Dio. The cherry blossoms are set to hit their peak near March 25th. And for the first time in two years, the school is welcoming what's always been a large crowd. We've been dying to come out uh, into the open some, for some good vibes, and this is can't ask for better. Avi Talanki hadn't seen the blossoms since before the pandemic, nor had he seen his parents who traveled from India to spend time with their now three-year-old grandson. He was just born at that time. Most of the 29 trees date back to the 1930s. They were replanted in UW's quad in 1962. The age of these are just so beautiful just because of the branch formation. According to UW, there's never been a year the trees haven't bloomed. The last time I visited a beautiful display of cherry blossoms was actually in Japan. So I was super excited to know that these were here. And even with the Seattle weather, Esther says they didn't disappoint. No disrespect to Japan, but these are amazing. <laughs> the cooler temperatures may keep the flowers around a little longer a chance to make up for lost time. And what a welcome. Exploring something beautiful. It's been so great to like see things slowly opening up again and life's like slowly getting back to normal. And I think it's just so, it's like a breath of fresh air to like stuff like this is open and people can come back and enjoy it with their families. So as the flowers bloom, the U District will actually be hosting the Cherry Blossom Festival. That is where restaurants and stores, they'll be serving food, drink, art, all either made with cherry blossoms or inspired by cherry blossoms. That starts in the neighborhood on March 25th. It'll go through April 10th. In Seattle, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.